poor Harry, he's gone down to um, take care of his morning business. And it's a bit swelly. How'd you go, Harry? Yeah, we got there, mate. It's swelly, eh? It wasn't the easiest poo I've done in my life. <laughs> It's Thursday morning, just before 6 a.m. The wind has arrived. It was quite rolly last night. Harry had a bit of trouble sleeping. I quite enjoyed it. Definitely gonna get the sails up today. My back is feeling not too bad after a day's rest. We did the supply run over to Mission Beach and then we just chilled out for the day. Ready for today's sail. We're gonna hop from Dunk Island to Russell Island, which is about an eight hour trip if we can maintain five knots and with this wind, I think we'll be fine. <laughs> We're forecasting um, 20 to 25 knot winds today, but it's gusting higher. Some good friends of mine, Ian and Rachel said, if you're ever questioning whether to put a reef in the main, then put a reef in the main. So I'm just gonna reef the main. I'm quite fortunate on Salty Bogan, all the reefing is back to the cockpit. And then we'll get going. How's this sound? And we're sailing! We're currently sailing along nicely. Just coming past the sister islands over here. Stefan's Island. Sisters? We're <laughs> sisters from different misters. We are. <laughs> got Roycey at the helm. Navigating through some reef at the moment, so he's got to pay attention. Got the line out. Hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get ourselves some more fish. This is where things may get interesting. We're under full sail. Harry's got a fish. You got the fish, Harry? Yeah, I got a fish, man. All right. Well, let him tie her out. I'm going to try and sort out the boat. I'm going to fill in the heady, Rogie. Right, uh, yeah, it's a mackerel. It is? Ew! It's everyone in my face today, isn't it? <laughs> Well done, Harry. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get the gap. What our mackerel that we were asking for this morning? Yeah, a bit of a... We're in God's country here. Not bad, not yeah. bad. Under full sail, we managed to get that bad boy in. I filled in the sails. Now we're just under the main. You ready to process that, Harry? Yeah. Harry's just told me this is his first fish he's filleted. And he's done extremely well. On a rough sea whale, not too bad, but a bit rocky. I helped out with the skinning, but look at him go. He's portioning it up. What do you think we have for dinner tonight, Harry? Oh, maybe a bit of fresh... Uh, Mackerel! Mackerel! We're about a mile or two off Russell Island. Just over here. We travelled 41.8 nautical miles today. I know it's a good day sailing because I stood behind the helm the whole day. I only budged to trim the sails or use the little girls room. So it's been a great day, we've got a mackerel. I mean, this is just amazing out here. My happy place. Well, we had a lovely escort from dolphins into Russell Island. We had a bit of issue, an issue with the head sail, the furler. And we got a bit of a tangle, but we sorted it out. Um, this blow's come in a bit stronger than forecast and a bit, a bit exposed over on Russell Island. So Harry and I have decided to punch through to Fitzroy Island, which is just out of Cairns essentially. So about another three hours and we'll be there. Probably wouldn't have been a very pleasant sleep in this anyway. Woo! Mate, that was amazing, thank you. Thank the sea, thank the fish, mate. Perfectly cooked, amazing, thank you. Thanks, 
Fitzroy Island, Harry. Yeah? Yeah. Almost there after 10 hours and 20 minutes of sailing. I can't believe I've been behind the helm the whole time. What a great day. Apparently there's a bar on there, Harry. A bar. We'll be flexing our sobriety muscle on that one. <laughs> We made it, Fitzroy Island. Got a mooring, broke the lazy jacks again, and Harry opened a hatch that we're not meant to open. I should have had a sticker on it that says do not open, so now we've got to fix that. But what a view. Just when we thought we could knock off Harry. <laughs> What's going on here? Right above the electrics, this... Hey, none of these work. Have you lost one? Alright, the hatch is drying. We'll leave that overnight so it doesn't... Um, yeah. And this is the... It's quite a uh, good spot to have a opening above all the electrics, but there's no rain forecast. We're all good. You all good, Harry? Yeah, buddy! <laughs> When it rains, it pours. <laughs> Good drills, Harry. Epic day. We fixed it. Everything crisis averted. Let's knock off and enjoy this anchorage. Well, it's Thursday or Friday. I'm not sure. I'm looking forward to getting to some sleep at some stage. <laughs> Our role is this anchorage, Harry. Yeah, mate. Have you slept yet? Maybe a couple hours Holy. broken, but yeah. Holy crap. So on um, all the reviews of this anchorage just opposite Fitzroy Island Resort, they're all horrible. Like people stating it's the worst anchorage ever. Do not stop there unless you absolutely have to. I thought, how could that be possible? It's beautiful. What do you think they said that for, Harry? I think they were right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't recommend this place. It is rolly as. It's, um, yeah. All right, let's get going. Let's motor the cans. You wanna? <laughs> yeah. yeah let's... It's gonna be a coffee kind of day. We did um, just over 62 miles yesterday and I was behind the helm the whole day. I was having that much fun. I was looking forward to a Nice sleep. Hopefully tonight we'll get some sleep. Hey Harry. What's up buddy? Are you abandoning the ship? <laughs> it's not that bad Harry, we'll get some sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a beautiful morning. We're just gonna nip over to Cairns now. We're gonna spend some time in Cairns. Well I am, Harry's gonna jump on his flight. We'll spend one or two nights in the marina just for easy access to fix all the crap we broke, fill up the tanks, etc. And then I'll be on a swing mooring for a month or so until we get a crew to head south. Are you coming south, Harry? I'll be coming back down south. Woo! Coming into Cairns now via the channel. Um, hopefully we can find the marina and find our pen. So we're just coming into Cairns Marina now. Royce is at the helm. Just up ahead. Still got about 15, 20 minutes before we actually get there. This is always exciting stuff. It's quite the channel. 
So it's uh, game face time now, time to get serious. <laughs> while we get into the uh, marina, find our berth. From there, we can uh, relax, have a well earned shower. Oh, a shower! A porcelain dunny! <laughs> it's the good, simple things in life that make you smile. Well, we made it. Harry, Cairns Marina. Great service so far, eh? It's been good. Bloody nice beautiful. welcoming. Nice welcoming. Got two nights here, and then I've got a month on some swing pole mooring thing. That way I can go back to Ely, sort out my fangs, uh, come back, explore Cairns a bit, wait for the crew, wait for Harry, and then we're heading south. You. Hey Harry, now that we're here, what do you reckon we do first? We've got the list, what do you reckon? Let's have a shower! Shower! That shower was good, really good. Now we gotta get to work, so... Gotta fix this, the hatch that somebody disrupted. How good was that shower, Harry? Mate. Ah, Smith now. I smell good. Yeah, you do. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go to Whitworth, buy some stuff for the jobs tomorrow, and then we're gonna knock off. How's that? Civilization, mate. How good's Uber? Yeah. Go get some shit, and then put it on the boat, and then go get some lunch. It's too many people, mate. Too many people. It's a bit busy. Overwhelming the senses. We got the Uber to Whitworths, we ordered a few hey. things for delivery and now we're stranded. <laughs> Tried Ubers and taxis, no luck, we're starving. Any luck with a taxi mate? I don't know mate, you book it but it doesn't give you a wait time, <laughs> it just says it's coming. <laughs> yeah, it will be movie star. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had no luck with the Uber, but we met Ben and Mike at Whitford's there at the marina. They recognised us actually from the yeah. videos. Hey guys, thanks yeah. for the lift. Yep, no worries. Really appreciate it. Yay! <laughs> you can finally eat, Harry. Yeah. Starve it. <laughs> thanks for the lift, guys. That's amazing. Yeah, appreciate might, it. Might catch up with a bit. Day three in Cairns. But Harry heads home tomorrow, which is going to be a sad day. But whilst he's still here, I'm going to send him up the mast one more time. Our new friend Mike is going to help us out. How you going, Mike? Going? You ready, Harry? Yeah, mate. This time we'll do it properly and have a bit more safety. Alright. <laughs> We're sending Harry up to change the mast light, or we'll get the globe at least, and run us a line through the Lazy Jack's pulley so we can fix them from the ground when he's gone, or I can fix them. So, hey, here we go again. I think they're either, they're either in a, like a straight pin or offset. Yep, that looks good. Great way to start the day, hey Harry? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Harry left the tools down here, so we've sent them up in a shopping bag. Just found some more broken shit. Welcome to boat life. How'd you go, mate? Good, buddy. So this is the globe we need? Yeah. And the pulleys were buggered. Yeah. Uh, it's Harry's last day, so I'll probably just chill out. Alright. No. Awesome, thanks Mike. Okay. I appreciate it. Thanks Harry. Great way to start the day. Yeah mate. Had to do it before you leave tomorrow. So Harry's discovered these pulleys which are used to hoist the lazy jacks are both broken. So I've got to go back up anyway. I'll have to make some friends and I'll sort that out. Got about a month in cans and then I hope to head somewhere else. Gives me a little bit of time to get everything ready, go get my teeth fixed at Ely Beach. You! Well, we did some jobs this morning. Um, found out there's more things that need to be fixed, which is part of the game. Harry goes tomorrow morning early to jump on his flight, so I'm gonna put the camera down, spend the day together, have one last day, might go watch the UFC at a pub, and then, yeah, that'll be it. 
So for now, put the camera down and just enjoy the last day with Harry. <laughs>